Good morning, my name is Jean Tung. I'm a member of the Pediatric Inflammatory Bowel Disease Clinic here at the Mayo Clinic. Today I'd like to speak to you about a study that was recently published regarding hepatitis A vaccine and IBD. Now, vaccines have been a really hot topic in inflammatory bowel disease in the last couple of years. We're starting to understand which vaccines people with IBD may have lost response to. And that means that you were vaccinated when you were younger or for instance with chickenpox you actually had the uh, disease itself but you've actually lost protection over time. So that's one thing we've learned about IBD but we're also learning which vaccines you may need an actual booster shot because either because of the IBD or the medications you're taking you don't respond as well to the vaccine. So in this study in Korea about 491 patients completed two shots of the hepatitis A vaccine and afterwards they measured how much of the hepatitis A vaccine was still in their body. Now let's talk a little bit more about what hepatitis A actually is. This is a virus that is usually passed through contaminated food or water supplies and can cause very severe vomiting, diarrhea, and even liver inflammation. At the end of the study they showed that most people really had good responses, anywhere from 92 to 98.9 percent. That's pretty good. So what they saw, however, is that people who were taking anti-TNF drugs, such as Remicade or Humira, had lower response rates compared to the patients that were taking other medications for their IBD. Now, the patients that had anti-TNF agents, we're talking about a response of 92 percent or so, so that still is very good. Now, not being protected as well does not necessarily mean that you'll automatically get the hepatitis A uh, disease or an infection. So we know from this study that people who get the hepatitis A vaccine will generally be very well protected. Ideally, if you haven't started an anti-TNF agent such as Remicade, Humira, or Simsia, it may be a good idea to get the hepatitis A vaccine before you start these drugs. It's also nice to know from this study that even if you do have, uh, do have to start these medications, chances are you'll be very well protected. Thank you very much for your time and I hope this was helpful for you.